Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate. Today we are making one of the most delicious and world favorite dessert, panna cotta, my way, with my twist. So we're gonna have strawberry sauce on top, the panna cotta in the middle. Panna cotta, remember, it's cooked, cooked cream, no milk. If you see it with, with milk, that's not panna cotta. So make sure you don't follow that recipe. And then you're gonna put, we're gonna have lemon cream underneath. And the lemon cream will give you the beautiful kick at the end, you know, when you have it in the glass, because we're gonna serve it in the glass. This is perfect for Valentine's Day, for you know, special events. Um, hey guys, Valentine's Day is every single day, okay? Don't forget that. So this is perfect for every day, every day of the year, because every day it's special. Now, let's make a beautiful panna cotta with the Vincenzo's plate twist. So the first things we have to do is to make the lemon cream. So we need one egg, then we want to mix it very well. Then we add about 75 grams of butter and um, fresh squeezed ju uh, lemon juice, about 50 ml, 60 ml maybe. Then we need uh, 100 grams of sugar. You put it on a stove in a low heat and you start stirring very well and you want to cook it, cook it until it becomes nice and creamy. You don't want to super boil, you don't want to boil it. So when you get to, when it starts to boil, it's enough. Put it in a glass um, and then we want to put it in the fridge, I guess for about one hour, but don't put too much in the glass because um, this should be just a, a little touch, you know? Uh, to make panna cotta we need three gelatin leaves, you put them in water for about five minutes to become nice and, uh, and soft, 500 ml of cooking cream, then you want to put a little bit of vanilla essence and sugar. You can get the recipe uh, in the description below. You cook it on a low heat but don't boil it, don't boil it, you just need to warm it up. When the gelatin is ready you want to put the gelatin inside, make sure you squeeze it very well, you don't want any water inside. You put it inside and you wait until the gelatin um, disappear. It might, must be cooked on a low heat, but don't boil it, please. After one hour, put the panna cotta in the lemon cream glass, and then you want to put it in the fridge for about six to eight hours. I'm dedicating this panna cotta recipe to Agnes from Dublin, who has been asking me to make this panna cotta recipe for about two years. This is for you, the best panna cotta you ever had in your life. To make the strawberry sauce, we need about 500 grams of uh, strawberries, cut them into small pieces, put them in a little small pan, and then uh, we want to cook it. So you add sugar, get the recipe in the description below. Um, normally I like to use two spoons of lemon juice, but because we already have the lemon, we don't want them to have to, we don't want this to be too strong. I just use um, three spoons of water. You want to boil it, boil it very well. When it becomes nice and soft, we want to break every single piece. We don't want to have any pieces of strawberry. And then you make sure that you straighten the sauce. You need to have a nice, beautiful sauce. You strain it very well and put it in a nice, um, something somewhere nice where you can uh, serve it after, you know? When the panna cotta is ready, I like actually to keep it in the fridge for 24 hours. You put the cream on top. Look at that, look how, look how creamy it is. I can't wait to have it. Make this for your favorite person, for your favorite, for your mom, for, for your lover. Just make it, look at that, look at that, look how stunning. Are you ready? I am ready to have it. I am extremely happy. Time to try the panna cotta. Strawberry panna cotta with lemon cream at the bottom. Ah. Oh. Mmm. Ah. Oh. Oh. Yes. Thank you, Agnes, for requesting this beautiful recipe. Thank you. Beautiful and made panna cotta made with love. Make sure you subscribe to Vincenzo's Play, please. Write a comment below and purchase my app. Go on my website and purchase it. Guys, please make sure you make it. Make sure you make this panna cotta. Every day is a special day. So make sure today, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, you make it because it's a special day. Okay? Every day. Enjoy it. Write a comment below. Let me know what you think about this panna cotta. The best you ever seen. And I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Play video recipe. E ora si mangia Vincenzo Splay.